Um, welcome everyone. Uh, this is a short. Uh, this is the continuation of the tutorial of uh, setting up your gun. Uh, gun's elevation. How do you do that? Well, before we all fire, we need to level our gun. We need to level out our gun. Not that. It is the left leg and the central central leg. And when everything is green, that's we are good to go. So uh, first, what we need, yeah, obviously our map, and what we need is a is an is an orientation point. How do we get an orientation point? Well, take our binoculars and find something which is good, visible, like that house on the top of that hill. What is that? Well, it should be somewhere here. Somewhere here. Uh, here's a house on the top of the hill, so it must be that. Let's take this. Uh, what is it? It is the eastern edge, and let's call it orientation point. And let's measure the azimuth. Our azimuth or our orientation point. Well, that's the gun. You don't have to use the uh, Ace Map tools because with this uh, mod, I, I I suggested to use the uh, Simple Map Tool 6000, which comes up with the pushing down the CTRL and the uh, right mouse button, and you get a compass which measures everything in Russian mills in 6000. So get to our orientation point. And we will see that our orientation point, the azimuth varo, is, is 5,610 mils. 5,610 mils. Okay? So orientation point, 5,610 mils. Okay, what do we do next? We get our target azimuth. It's compass. You get to your target, and you find out that the target azimuth is six Russian mils, six hundred eighty. Eighty-one is uh, it will be really right. So six hundred eighty. Six hundred eighty. So azimuth is 680. Okay, distance. Let's get the distance. Oh, where is my target? Uh, a way off. That's going to be a long shooting. The distance is is uh, 6,770 meters. The distance is 6,770 meters. So that's what we have to work with. So why do we have an orientation point? Because we need the angle between our azimuth and the orientation point. You see, here, I'm, here I am. I have my gun here. I have. I know that one point, the orientation point's azimuth. I perfectly know, and I have to set my barrel to the target azimuth, which is how much? Eight six hundred eighty, and my orientation point is uh, five thousand six hundred ten. Well, uh, the azimuth difference. It, it means that. Uh, 6,680 minus 5,610 that gives us uh, 1,070 mils of azimuth difference but you know that our gun when it looks forward our uh, sight if it is a light it shows us 3,000 and it's numbered counterclockwise so I will have to see 
if I if my barrel is pointed to my azimuth and I see through my sight the scope correctly, I uh, see the orientation point. My scope should show me uh, 3,000 plus 10 plus 1,070. That means uh, 4,070 mils. So what I do now is I set my sight to 4,070 mils. I set my sight to 4,070 mils. I bring up the sight. I set it to 4070 mils. You see only my side rotates. 4070 mils. Thirty-five forty-one. It's 4070. Wonderful. I get into my scope and now I rotate you see, it's it looking at 4070, but my I'm not looking at the orientation point, so I have to rotate my entire gun with the arrow ski. No, I'm not rotating only the scope. I'm rotating the entire gun until I see the orientation point. It's over there, that house, you see. Remember, the eastern edge. I just set up eastern edge. Let's check if my sight is totally balanced. Fine. So that means my gun is horizontally oriented. Now I need to orient it vertically. How do I do that? Well, I need to know distance, which was uh, 6,770 meters. And I need to bring up, that was 6,770 meters, 6,770 meters. I need to bring up my range table. You remember that I need this VOG range table. I know that it's charge 3 probably will be short. I'm sure it is. It's going to 5,100. So I need charge 2, a bigger charge. And it will be 6,770. So I 6,750 is my closest call. And 6,750 515 mils of elevation gives me 6,750 meters of range. The next step is 6,800, but 522 meters give me, so they gives me that range. So between the two elevation, I have uh, seven mils of difference. So seven mils of difference in elevation gives me 50 meters of range difference. Uh, how do I use that? Well, the good old slide ruler. Here I have 50. I bring my upper scale to 50. 50 meters. What was that? 7 mils gave me 50 meters of elevation. So my, on the lower scale, I match the 5 with 7. And on the one I will get, on the lower scale with the one I get, the, that 1 mil of elevation gives me 7.1 meters of range. But I need how much? I need 20. So on the upper scale, I always come back to 2. And on the down, down, lower scale, I, I read that it is 2.8 mils. So I need 2.8 mils of elevation to add, to add to my base elevation, 2.8 mils. But that is also, there is also a uh, elevation difference between the two points. How much? Let's see how much. This is uh, 14 meters and uh, this is uh, 29 meters. So I have I have uh, 15 meters of elevation difference. I have 15 meters of elevation difference, and I have to compensate for that as well. 15 meters of elevation difference, charge two, seven, 6,750 meters. So um, 21. If I have 100 meters of elevation difference, I need to set 21 mils. Well, but I have only 15. So what do I do? Again, you have all, our good old slide rulers. I go to 100 meters, and on the lower scale I come to uh, 21, and one mil of elevation difference give me 4.8 meters of uh, of elevation difference in the at the target area, but I I have 15, so I come to what is 12, 13, 15, so 3.1. I need 3.1 mils of elevation difference to compensate for the 
three point of 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 uh, in my barrel elevation difference to compensate in the target area. So what does that mean? Well, uh, because I'm shooting low, to add to our range, I have to lower my gun. But to compensate for the elevation difference, I have to raise my gun. So basically, uh, 2.8 mils, I have to uh, I have to uh, low raise my gun and three mils lower my gun. That means basically I don't have to do anything with the base elevation. I have uh, 6,750, which is uh, 515 of elevation, and I'm, I'm, I'm good for that. So I set my elevation up. Come to the gun. How do I set my elevation up? Well, I have my sight, and with a pitch up and pitch down, I set my sight for 515. You see, 270, 515. 515 that's fine and now I raise my gun until my elevation until my uh, bubble which uh, indicates the uh, horizontal uh, alignment of the barrel and the side comes to the middle it's just coming a little bit back and I have to go for the middle wonderful I'm just fine. I set uh, 515 mils of elevation. I get out. That was charge 2. Open. Take a shell. That's also not easy. It's a little clumsy. But uh, it's worth it. so much fun to learn all these things. You open the breech. Load the shell, take the explosive, you set it to charge 2, charge settings, That's and you set it to charge 2, set, you come to the gun, load the casing, get into the gun, fire it! and go to our uh, forward observer and see how accurate we were. I don't recommend to use binoculars because um, we might need not be that accurate for the first shot. Let's wait until our shell lands. Well, it's 40-50 seconds. You see, a little over. So that's why um, uh, forward observers are now. We would have to uh, correct for the fire. That's how you do it. So goodbye.